inception of G20. The G20 was founded in 1999 after the Asian financial crisis of 1997-98 as an informal forum for the finance ministers and central bank governors of the most important industrialized and developing economies to discuss international economic and financial stability. The group of 20 comprises 19 countries and European Union. The 19 countries are Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Canada, China, France, Germany, India, Indonesia, Italy, Japan, Republic of Korea, Mexico, Russia, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, Turkey, United Kingdom, and United States. The G20 members represent around 85% of the global GDP, over 75% of the global trade, and about two-thirds of the world population. G20 is the premier forum for international economic cooperation and it plays an important role in shaping and strengthening global architecture and governance on all major international economic issues. The G20 does not have a permanent secretariat or staff. Instead, the G20 presidency rotates annually among the members and is selected from a different regional grouping of countries. The 19 member countries are therefore divided up into five groups comprising a maximum of four countries each. Most of the groups are formed on a regional basis. That is, countries from the same region are usually put in the same group. Only Group 1, Australia, Canada, Saudi Arabia and the United States and Group 2, India, Russia, South Africa and Turkey do not follow this pattern. Group 3 includes Argentina, Brazil and Mexico. Group 4 includes France, Germany, Italy and United Kingdom. And Group 5 includes China, Indonesia, Japan, and Republic of Korea. The EU, the 20th member, is not a member of any of these regional groups. Each year, another country from a different group assumes the G20 presidency. The countries in a group are each equally entitled to take on the presidency when it is their group's turn. Though India from Group 2 holds the current presidency of the G20 from 1st of December 2022 to 30th November 2023. The G20 presidency is responsible for bringing together the G20 agenda in consultation with other members and in response to developments in the global economy. To ensure continuity, the presidency is supported by a troika made up of the current, immediate past and next host countries. During India's presidency, the members of the G20 troika are Indonesia, India and Brazil. Elevation to leaders level the G20 was upgraded to the level of heads of state or government in the wake of the global economic and financial crisis of 2007 and in 2009 when it became apparent that the necessary crisis coordination would only be possible at the highest political level. The forum initially focused largely on broad macroeconomic issues but it has since expanded its agenda to trade, climate change, sustainable development, health, agriculture, energy, environment, climate change and anti-corruption, guest countries and invited international organizations. In addition to the member countries, that is 19 and the European Union, each G20 presidency invites other guest countries and international organizations to participate in the G20 meetings and summit. India has invited Bangladesh, Egypt, Mauritius, the Netherlands, Nigeria, Oman, Singapore, Spain and UAE as guest countries during its G20 presidency. For guest international organizations, India has invited ISA, CDRI, ADB in addition to the regular G20 international organizations UN, IMF, WB, WHO, WTO, ILO, FSB and OECD and chairs of regional organizations AU, AUDA, NEPAD and ASEAN. G20 structure Sherpa track It is headed by Sherpa who is the representative of the leader. Focus areas Socio-economic issues such as agriculture, anti-corruption, climate, digital economy, education, employment, energy, environment, health, tourism, trade and investment. The working groups under this track include Agriculture Working Group, Anti-Corruption Working Group, Culture Working Group, Development Working Group, Digital Economy Working Group, Disaster Risk Reduction Working Group, Education Working Group, Employment Working Group, Energy Transition Working Group, Environment and Climate Sustainability Working Group, Health Working Group, Tourism Working Group, Trade and Investment Working Group. Finance Track It is headed by the finance ministers 
and central bank governors who generally meet four times a year with two meetings being held on the sidelines of wb imf meetings focus areas fiscal and monetary policy issues such as the global economy infrastructure financial regulation financial inclusion international financial architecture and international taxation the working groups and work streams under this track include framework working group international financial architecture working group infrastructure working group sustainable finance working group global partnership for financial inclusion joint finance and health task force international taxation issues financial sector issues engagement groups as part of the g20 members commitment to consult relevant stakeholder communities dialogue is facilitated through the engagement groups comprising non government participants from each g20 member these groups often draft recommendations to the g20 leaders that contribute to the policy making process the engagement groups are as follows business 20 or b20 civil 20 or c20 labor 20 or el 20 parliament 20 science 20 sai 20 startup 20 think 20 urban 20 women 20 youth 20 the new delhi declaration that forged a consensus between the g20 nations bitterly divided between the g7 eu and russia china on the issue of ukraine the final language is shipped from the bali paragraphs or called ukraine paragraphs with language critical of russia erased on a firm proposal from g20 hosts of past and future years indonesia india brazil and south africa the final 83 paragraph declaration with eight paragraphs on geopolitical issues on which consensus was reached included language on everything from climate action financing and fossil fuel phase out a debt restructuring the biofuel alliance health digital infrastructure regulating cryptocurrency and other issues bringing the african union into the g20 fold will be credited to india and future summits in brazil and south africa are likely to take india's global south initiative forward it will be interesting to see if other hosts also follow india's example in holding g20 meetings throughout its term in multiple cities on the sidelines of the summit all eyes are on the possibility of reviving the black sea grain initiative for russia and ukraine which found a mention in the g20 declaration as also the multi billion mega infrastructure project from saudi arabia and the uae to europe quarter backed by the us and india the g20 in delhi has also made its mark in terms of the indian initiative to bring on board the voice of the global south ensuring that more than 125 countries of the developing world raised their concerns at a feder conference in january 2023 that were included in the declaration Finally the moment is significant for India because of the government's push to popularize and democratize the G20 within India inviting about 1 lakh delegates from over 125 countries to about 200 meetings in more than 60 Indian cities to partake in the event according to G20 chief coordinator Harsh Singla Mr Modi handed over the ceremonial gavel to Brazil's president Lula da Silva initiating the process of transition of the president's chair for the next round of the G20 in brazil